We have a monkey. We have a tiny monkey that needs his face trimmed. I just trimmed his eyes a little bit, but his eyelashes are totally covering his eyes. Normally I save the eyelashes on a dog like this, but you can see they're growing straight down. And I just think he's gonna look like a little doll if I take them off. And the owner gave me carte blanche, which is my favorite thing ever. So I get to do whatever I want. Let's turn this little baby into a cute young little puppy. Cause he is, he is a puppy. His name is Chili. Look at his little butt. Okay, where are we going? Chaos, pure chaos. So cute. I mean, can you even? Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is trim this lip hair. And part of this haircut today is training him to get used to me. I just filmed him. I just filmed him uh, using my signature energy techniques and he did so great. He did so great. We just filmed his whole haircut. And um, if you're interested in seeing that, that will be in my new energy course. It might not be new if you're watching this. Um, I mean, can you believe this? Basically, I was teaching how to build trust in your dogs. And at this point, after working with him for the last hour, I've done everything I can to build his trust through gentle touch. I'm holding my tools in a gentle way and I'm handling him in a gentle way. And I'm able to build trust, which is how you calm a dog, okay? Also, he's a puppy that gets distracted. So that's, I use that to my advantage. Let's take those lashes off, baby. So I'm just taking these lashes off. And I pull everything back away so that I can really get above the eye. And I'm using a pair of curve shears. These are by Harsley, my favorite. And I'm weaving my shears this way and this way. And I'm only getting what's above the eye. He's a sleepy bear. So you can already see the difference. Well, his eyes are closed, but. <gasps> Hello, show your eyes. Can you see now? What a good baby. So I always comb everything up before I trim so that I can see what I'm doing. You always wanna see what you're doing. I don't blindly trim anything. So come with me, we're gonna to move to a different table so that you guys can see better. So now there's a couple hairs in front of his eye that I hate. I'm just going to have him sit, good boy. There's like a couple little baby hairs right here. There's a dog barking. He's reacting and I'm gonna just try to have him connect with me as much as possible. But if he needs to look over there to see the dog barking, which he can't because it's in the next room. If he needs to look over there, I have to honor that. So anytime a dog wants to like face a certain way, I need to move my operation. But I think I can get him to come back. So just like if you're a groomer watching this, dogs have this weird OCD thing where they have to walk, they have to face a certain way. It's usually facing the door, honestly. Okay, it's so quiet in here. So let, it's like not good how quiet it is. Um, okay, come here, come on. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna probably block you. I'm gonna get his eye. It's okay that his paw is on me. This is a sign of protest, but it's a very gentle protest. Sometimes when dogs have a big protest, it can, be, it can escalate into full on panic, panic mode. So I, the key for me is to not react to his uh, behavior at all. I have no response to dog's behaviors. I'm stoic, I keep, I keep it real close. And if you're a new groomer watching this or someone who reacts big to dogs, just fake it. Fake that you have no reaction. Try it with humans. Scratch break. Okay, let's get to work. I need to make you gorgeous. I mean, you're already gorgeous. Okay, oh my God, Alyssa. He's so crazy distracted. Will you just come say hi to him? Because he loves you. 
Hi, I love you, I love you, I love you, okay. Okay, we got that out of our system. Once he says hello, he's fine. He just needs to really say hi. I get it. I totally get it. Okay, frustration. So what happens is with puppies is that they get so frustrated that they are being told what to do that over time they just sort of give up. You know what I mean? So I just annoy them until they submit. And that's how you get a husband. It's how you get so much in life. So while he's distracted, I'm just gonna get back here. Can't hurt. There we go. I'm using thinning shears for the most part with this coat. These are called Speedies by Utsumi. I love them so much. They create shape, but they also keep it natural. And if you look at this dog's coat type, I'm wanting to make the whole body match. So if the dog has, I mean, this is a puppy, so he has this puppy coat. It's very fluffy and soft. So I just wanna make sure that every line I make is going to match his body. That said, if I were to take a curve shear like this, like the Harsley curve shears and create lines this way, it would still look adorable. It would just be a little bit less forgiving. So I just have to be a little bit more careful. That's all, they both work. I just want something that's forgiving just in case it's a puppy. So if he goes like that really quick, nothing's gonna happen with a thinning shear. So I'm gonna see if I can move him this way. And now let's work on his bangs. I do want a nice crisp bang. So I'm just gonna take my curve shears and round his bangs. But I really like the thought of this being fun. So I'll make all of this really tidy, but then maybe have this really fun. It's kind of like a, a style I really like. Gonna just trim everything in front of his eyes. He's being such a trusting, cozy baby. And he looks so much better without lashes. So if puppies are closing their eyes, sometimes it's hard to see their lashes, but I think I got them. I go a little bit past his eyes. Oh, hello, good morning gonna flip his ears back and get everything under his ears. Good morning, good morning, okay, come here. So sometimes I just give them a moment to check out the scene and then they kind of like don't care anymore. So it's kind of like working with him instead of fighting him. So if he wants to look at something, I just allow it. So I'm gonna switch to my beautiful Harsley thinning shears to get the jawline. I use these on anything that has a big spot, like a big area. And he had a moment where I was tickling him, so I'm gonna anticipate this. So if you're grooming a puppy, you have to always anticipate that they're gonna shake, they're gonna do something. So I wanna just make sure that I don't cut him, because this is sharp tools. And I'm gonna give him a moment. I'm gonna not let go of his chin during this little moment of protest, and I'm gonna move him back, at, and I'm gonna have him sit down. He's gonna have a little moment of protest. He might have a panic, and that's okay. <laughs> He's really trying to get me to let go, and so what I wanna do is show him that nothing he can do is gonna make me let go. So I'm just gonna hold on to him and just keep repositioning him, sit, sit, Good boy, good boy. So nothing I can do is gonna make me let go. I'm gonna hold on to him and keep holding on to his chin. Holding him is gonna make him stop fighting me. Holding on to his chin still. I'm gonna take a moment. <sighs> Alyssa, say hi to YouTube. Hi YouTube. Wait, your son. Hi, hi YouTube. Ricky, say hi to YouTube. Ricky, say hi to YouTube. Still holding onto this dog's chin. He's having a panic. Oh, voice and manner. Voice and manner. Okay, we're still holding on. Okay, I just need him to stop fighting. 
and by me settling him down, now I have a much more gentle touch on his chin. I'm really mostly just supporting his head with my hand. And I just wanna show him that's what it means when I hold his chin. It just means be cozy and, and calm down. So a lot of these puppies, they just have waves of protest. It's not like it's gonna be like that forever. I just have to be patient during it and just know that it's gonna stop eventually. It's not like it's gonna be like that forever. Now you can see he's just kind of like resting on me. But he had to go through that moment where he fought me and he had to get onto the, the other side of the fight. So now he's trusting again and he understands she's not gonna stop. If I fight, she's not gonna stop. However, that said, he's probably gonna do it again. I just have to anticipate that. Stress yawn, just an overwhelm. A, a yawn is usually like an overwhelm. I'm just tinkering, because I'm kind of crazy when it comes to detail. Alyssa's walking in, we're gonna take a moment, I'm gonna let him look at her, and I'm not letting go of his chin. I'm just holding onto this chin for dear life. Here comes another moment of protest. He's just gonna watch her. Still holding onto this chin, we got a lot going on. Moving his body and now coming back. So it's just a moment and I'm just trying to be really gentle with my calm, really gentle with any, any tool that I'm using so that I can prove to this dog that he can trust me. Another little moment of protest. He's being such a good baby. I'm so proud of him. He really is being a good baby. Here's another one. Not so bad. They kind of sometimes tend to get better. So he's ticklish right here. If you remember, he like shaked his, shook his head. So I just wanna like weasel my way in really quick and just not stay up here for too long because he doesn't like you. He does not like you. I'm gonna do the other side. There's like all these tiny little hairs. I just wanna get them because I'm crazy. I'm crazy. If he wants to lick and explore my tools, I allow it, obviously keeping it safe. My tool is, my shears are closed. And I'm gonna do his, the other side of his jaw. And I know that he might shake his head, it might be ticklish, so I just wanna do it really quickly. There we go. Trying to move positions so that I can hold his ear in a way where maybe it won't be as ticklish. I'm always trying to do something to make the dog cozier. He still hates it. That wasn't so bad. While I'm here, I might as well just get the back of his head. Try to be more like economical with my, with what I do. If I'm standing here, I'll do things in this area. If I'm standing there, you get it. Okay, let me see if I can get this one little spot without tickling my friend. Okay, I think I got it. Let's see if he'll sit and be cozy again. Okay, I'm gonna move to a shorter shear. I'm going back with the Atsumi Speedies, letting him sniff. Puppies like to sniff and lick and bite, and it just helps them understand. I think human babies are like that too, potentially. Like they need to like put things in their mouth to like know what it is. I don't know, I don't have babies. I have fur babies. Okay. Yes, my friend. So I'm gonna try to get under his ear without tickling him. Let me just see. Here, if he sits down, it'll be a little easier. Sit, sit, go boy. I need to keep my energy calm to keep him calm. But I just wanna scream how much I love him. He's doing so great. You guys should have seen him in my video that I did earlier for my course, the energy course. He just listened to everything. Like he was just such a good trusting little boy. Okay, so now he is distracted, so I'm using that as my, uh, I'm using it to my advantage. Okay, always check your work from behind. Okay, sit. Sit. Good boy. So puppies get distracted, they get tired, they get annoyed, they get frustrated. 
And so I just work with these emotions and I just get the job done while gaining their trust and making them enjoy the grooming process. Because the grooming process can be a very relaxing time for a dog. You sit. Okay, let's chop this chin off. This is gonna make him look younger. A long chin will make any dog look old, in my opinion. These are my opinions. And a short chin kind of lifts the face up. Wow, what is that? Okay, we got it. We got it. Good boy. I come down from the center of the nose, down. And scoop under and get everything. And just chomp, chomp, chomp with my Harsleys. Straight across. And now we have more of like a square situation. And then from there, I just round the edges and just go up in my smile position. I'm gonna flip the ear back so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna switch to my Utsumi Speedies because I want a little bit more shape. Are you waiting? Yeah. <laughs> Sarah, will you say hi to YouTube? Hi to YouTube, nice to meet you. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, yeah. just going to blend those edges Boop, 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 and lift and create. Oh, no, ni, no, ni. He's just getting frustrated. This is tough, you know, it's a long day for him. He's a baby, it's nap time. I'm still combing down because I need to set the length of my chin. He'll settle, there's just a lot of movement in here. And when I use thinning shears, I'm creating shape, but I'm also trying to be intentional uh, with my shape because it's really easy to make the, the face look a little too blendy. And so I want to find a happy medium. And what I like to do is with puppies is I'll start my shape with thinning shears and then kind of tidy up with a crisper curve. So you can already see how little that does, or how, how that subtle little movement really lifts the face. If you can see, he's moving around a lot. Okay, settle, my friend. That was like the tiniest fight. He was like, please stop. He's sort of reaching his point where he's just so over it, but that's actually where he's probably gonna start falling asleep. Sit. I'm almost done. It's magic. He's a good boy. I'm gonna take off this mustache. This is really what makes a dog look old. It's like when it's really heavy. This is my go-to position for this side of the face. I reach my arm over, and then I'm able to mirror the way that my shears point. I'm just gonna be careful not to tickle his ear. He hates that. And just lifting up. What a good friend he is. What a trooper. Still combing down. And I say that because I'm gonna end up combing up everything when I'm done, and that's my favorite part. Well, one of my favorite parts. I just want to get that mustache -y situation taken care of. <gasps> okay, what a good boy. What a good boy. You notice he gets up the minute I stop. So it's because I stop and I move quickly. So I'm going to try moving a little bit slower next time and see if I can get him to just be still and calm the whole time. Changing the position of my hands and I'm just gonna get everything on this double chinny area back here. 
kind of separate the face into little sections. And I call that little section the double chinny section. Look over here, over here, there. After I calm down and set the length of the chin, which I'm just gonna double check my work, then I comb everything up and I fluff. You're being such a good baby. I mean, really. Can you even? So now I'm gonna take my comb and have a stiff comb and just lift everything away and up, up away from the nose. Fluff everything up. Good boy, good boy. And then wanna create an oval when looking at this. So I kind of start with this, flip the ears forward, and then do the top. Perfect timing for the dryer to go on. Come here. Over here, there we go. Focus, focus. Okay, just gonna finesse. So now everything's lifted up, and now it's time to finesse. Ay, 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 yeah, me too, me too. I'm sorry, friend. You don't like it. Did you see he thought about standing up and then he stopped? Because he's learning. What a good boy. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. He was like, nope, I'm not. she's going to push me down again. Just breaking the spirit. That's not true. We're training. Oh, good boy. So as long as this is clean and crisp, the whole face tends to look clean and crisp. So I'm just gonna use my curve shears and just really take these edges off. I just need to look over here. really tricky to get this part of the face because I don't want to get the hair in front of the ear. I only want to get under the ear and then in front of the whole, like I'll show you. <laughs> so this is really tricky so that when I pull his ear down, I still want there to be a nice intentional line in front of the ear right here, but I still need this coat here to frame his ear. So I ha when the ear is pulled back, I just have to be really mindful not to get that piece. And if you're curious about all the little nuances of the little blueprint that I teach, make sure that you take my faces course on JessRunnaCourses.com because I teach all the little things about how I create these adorable faces on dogs. Um, step by step. It's mostly geared towards groomers, but I have had pet parents take the course too. Wouldn't it be fun if I left these ears long? I'm not going to, but it would be kind of cute. Okay, sit. And go, boy, wow, we're really listening now because we're sleepy head. We're sleepy. Yeah, we're sleepy bear. What a good boy. What a good boy. He's so nice. Okay, wakey, wakey, wakey. Okay. Okay, let's get these ears. Now we're now we're gonna really puppify this baby. So I always start with the bottom of the ear. So I'm gonna feel for the bottom. And I'm just going to take all this length off, chomp, 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 until it's gone. And now I round from there. So I always start with the shortest point. And here we go. We have, we have a sleepy baby. I'm going to take this off. And you can keep all this in. I'm just really going to try to make this not a big deal. I'm going to go really slow.
less. And I, I'll show you side by side how different it looks with a long ear. And I leave long ears on certain dogs when it's like kind of fun. But for the most part, I think a short ear really makes a dog look young and like a teddy bear. He'll settle again. I'm just going from behind and just making sure. I'm using my finger to perk up his ear. So I use my finger to perk up his ear so I can see the way it looks when it's when he's like perked up and happy. And that's kind of my guide for the shape of the ear. Okay, we have a moment, a sniffing moment. That's your hair. Okay, sit, sit, stay, stay. There we go. So working with puppies, it's just like moments and then they settle and then that's when you work. So you just wait for the moments when they settle. And I just kind of judge to like mess it up just so I can see what it looks like when he shakes his head or if he moves his hair around. And so I always tell my students to picture a light behind the dog and it's like a silhouette so you can really see the outline of your haircut. Okay. Okay, what do you think? Long or short? I mean... I'm a short-eared kind of girl. Oh, goodness. Did you see that? He just like pushed his eye into my shear. He's fine. Sit, 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 sit. Uh-uh. One spot. Okay, done. Okay. I'm gonna move over here because we decided to take a walk. Actually, I feel like he might have to go potty. He hasn't been potty yet. I think it might be nice to, to have him go potty. Or he might just settle. He's, he won't settle, so let's see if he has to go potty. Go potty. Maybe not. He, I keep seeing if he has to go potty and he just won't go. I know. Okay, go potty. Go potty right here. This is Fresh Patch, and we get this grass delivered every week, and we love it because then dogs, if dogs need to go potty, they can go on there. Come here. Do you have to go potty, sir? Do you have to go potty, sir? Right here. That would be a no. Do you have to go potty? Okay. Back to work then. Okay. We're rounding this ear and then we'll be done. You're so nice. Okay, sit. Shh. He's like, ay, 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 this is torture.
<laughs> he sees himself in the mirror. That's <laughs> OK. OK, sit. You're so pretty. Wow, what a gorgeous. Let me go over here. I'm just tinkering and tidying. And then when I have the shape I want, I'm gonna go over it, over his face. I'm gonna go over his face with, um, with my curve shears. Okay, sit, sit. Like, I love leaving the top of the head a little natural. I think it looks so cute. If this dog looks like a celebrity, will you please comment below what celebrity this dog looks like? Any thoughts? Right. Okay, I'm thinking Potentially, I mean, oh, this is really cute. I feel like this is really cute too. Girls, what do we think? This, this one. This one? Okay. Wow, that was unanimous and very quick. Wait, of course, I see one piece of hair. I see one piece of hair that I need to get rid of. Right here. Okay, let me see your face. Let me see your, oh, chaos. Oh, no, ni. Oh my goodness, we just wanna get this. Wow, oh, sit, sit. We gotta show the world what you look like now. Okay, wow, stunning, stunning and gorgeous. This is the biggest moment of our day. This is the time to accessorize. Okay, I'm having technical difficulties. I'm just gonna slide it over. Okay, okay, you guys were right. This is perfect. Yes. OK. My masterpiece. And with some help from my groomers, wave to YouTube. Thank you for helping me. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to learn more about anything I do, head over to JustRonaCourses.com. OK. You're free. You're free. The dismount. Our dismount. Okay, see you later. See you later. Bye. See ya. Thanks for watching. <laughs>